and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk you through how I made my tombstones for my graveyard display and also how I made a sarcophagus out of an old wooden coffin. So to do this I just used loft boards. First of all they were really cheap and that actually ended up being a bit of a mistake because they were really heavy and really hard to carve but you could actually use whatever wood or foam or any kind of product that you have because the steps we're going to follow will actually cover that up. I also needed a dremel and some wood carving tools and some white emulsion paint with um, some black and some green acrylic to just add some colour and a little bit of builder's sand to mix in with the paint. To start off with, I did a scale drawing on some graph paper, so I knew exactly what size I wanted to scale them up to on the loft boards. So I, I did that and then kind of marked them all out in pencil. And then I did the carving using a Dremel and also a drill bit in place of one of the circular kind of dome drill bits. It was really hard to do this on the loft board, so in the end I ordered some proper wood carving chisels off Amazon and that helped and some of the larger drill bits as well, but I did get there in the end. I did all the carving before I actually cut them up because I found it was just a little bit easier to do it with make them sturdy with being bigger pieces of wood. I kind of just found some Celtic cross designs and kind of RIPs and stuff like that and tried to make them all a little bit different from each other. I do have some polystyrene tombstones in the garden as well but I wanted these to kind of be at the front of the display. So once I kind of finished carving which took a really long time with this being loft boards I then cut them all down to size and just very roughly sanded the edges. These are going to be made to look like stone so there was no need to kind of go mad with the sanding or anything like that. Around the time I was making these, I'd seen the, these pictures on Pinterest of these creepy graveyard tombstone beds, and I really wanted to make one of those as well. And there's another angle there of these pictures. I think these look super cool, so I wanted to make one of those. So I kind of simplified that design a little bit using the loft boards, and I kind of created a, a box with two tombstone ends, and then I just had some sage green fabric that I just stapled in place to give me the ruffles. There was no way that I was going to be able to carve um, the kind of effect of a, a bed sheet onto loft boards. So I just used that fabric and I painted over it when I painted everything else as well. So it actually turned out really well. Yes, the joins on these don't look the best because they are loft boards that are designed to flip together, but it's dark and people don't really see that. The, t the coffin um, was actually a prop that was used in our village pantomime of Dracula and everyone just assumed rightly that I would want the coffin when it was finished so I got that and it was just flat grey kind of chipboard I think it was made out of an old wardrobe once again very very heavy so if I was doing these things again I would choose a lighter material but I kind of got given this for free so I wasn't complaining so the first step um, for this is to mix some uh, white emulsion with a little bit of builder's sand and then I added a little bit of black acrylic paint to make it grey then painted that all over all of the tombstones and all of the different faces of the coffin and once it dries it kind of has this stone effect so if you put more sand in it will look more stone like after I'd done that I kind of went in with a sponge and grey paint and green paint and just kind of did some weathering on it just to try and make it look like moss had grown in certain places or lichen in other places. Once I'd assembled the coffin I then did some more kind of dark grey and green bits that looked like kind of mildew running down the sides of the coffin and I did the same thing with all of the tombstones and it really is very very effective when you just follow this technique and it was super easy to do you can use a brush or a sponge or whatever paint you have lying around will work fine so that was the tombstones all weathered um, I bought some crows off Amazon to sit on the tombstones which looks super cool so on their own they look a bit plain but I also made some zombie dolls and I will link the video card at the top and to the video of how I made the zombie dolls once I kind of laid everything out and put the zombie dolls there and I used bits of cheesecloth and chain and cobweb and all of that kind of thing they all looked really effective and actually once you blended these in with the polystyrene ones they all just kind of looked quite seamless I tend to put the polystyrene ones at the back 
And the way that I stand up the tombstones, by the way, was using croquet hoops, but you can use tent pegs as well. Uh, I made this spine also from screw gun um, inserts. It's not the most anatomically correct spine, but it kind of gets the point across from a distance. It worked quite well. And here are my cats investigating my graveyard scene. One of the things that I've ordered for this year is a set of LED green lights that I'm going to put on the inside of the coffin and I always put my smoke machine on the inside of the coffin as well. I've also corpsed um, another skeleton head rather than using this zombie mask so this year hopefully it'll look super cool. So with the smoke machine, the green lights and the new zombie head that you're going to see in the end screen that was in the beginning screen, I think with those kind of coming out of this stone sarcophagus it'll look really cool. Hope that was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.